Okay, so let's do intros. Going around the room, here is Raven. Poor Raven. Today, Raven is in New York with his poor wife. Oh, Raven. Poor Raven. So I, he's, he, it's, it's kind of a work vacation for him. And he's doing a project out there as well as them seeing the sights, he and his wife, Margo. So uh, he'll be back next week, hopefully. I think that's the plan. That's July the plan. 3rd. Right. Yeah. Let's go around to Josephine. Uh, hi, I'm Amanda, and I play the role of Josephine Smith. Pew, pew. Um, today, I am adorned with um, some pieces of flair. Let's get those on camera. I've got an avo avocat dough and a meow shroom from my friend's tacos and from my lovely wifey sugar berries. I adore you guys. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming and watching with us. Hello, everybody. Hold I'll... on, let me get to switch. Okay. Okay, hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it is Janice, Janice Wildson, Janice Schultz, Janice whoever I am. And I play the part of Lavinia Rose. Lavinia Rose is a healer in some ways, a fortune teller in some ways, and a bit of a badass who goes off after undead critters. Yeah. We like the badasses. Good stuff. I am uh, Robert Woodbury, and I'm also Percival Redfeather. And uh, so as Percival Redfeather, I am a ranger and a... Uh, half native uh, explorer and I am quick with the arrow, bow and arrow and I'm also good tracking. And uh, if I get really angry, you don't want to see me angry because I become a tiger and I will mess with you. Big weird tiger. Big weird tiger. As opposed to a weird <clears throat> tiger. I am a weird tiger, but that's okay. How do you do? My name's Thaddeus Poindexter. Um, and I am a trained medical professional, and those who don't believe my credentials, I have oh, <laughs> sweet. my diploma from the University of Louisville Medical Department. Uh, uh, pardon me, aren't you also an expert in forgery, my sir? <laughs> How dare you make such an assumption or, or, or such an accusation? Not an accusation. The Poindexter family <laughs> is respectable, well, apart from... The one that's causing us so much trouble in this land, he has disgraced the name of Poindexter. Hmm. But you are also an expert in forgery. I believe you're confusing me with my cousin, um, Beauregard Abernathy. He, he has been getting into a lot of trouble oh, all his we life. Can't see the, we can't see the wanted poster. That's mm. too bad. Yeah, the there's nothing to see here. Move. Please move along. <laughs> that one poster will move over onto that main wall. What's going to be our rogues gallery? Our, there hall, our wall of shame. Mm -hmm. Wall of shame. I prefer to call it. Well, yeah, I guess we have a little surprise. Okay, well, let's uh -oh. go back to me. It was Father's Day this past weekend. It was Father's Day, mm. and oh, yeah. a Father's Day present arrived for the game master. Ooh. So we're going to find out what it is. Very exciting. Pretty Drum roll. Cool. Fingers crossed that it's what we ordered. That's right. <laughs> I want to thank ePersal for giving me a Father's Day present. Oh, no, wait. No, that's actually that. Was that the, was from the Mamacita and that's from Amanda. the Amanda. That's from Lavinia and Josephine. There we go. We're going to open this up. From La Bambina. Pop <laughs> goes the weasel. Let's see goes what it is. Oh, it is! Bubble pack. It really is! Ooh, it was so light, I didn't think it could be this. Ah. What do you know about that? Oh, It looks right. so much Ooh. bigger out of the box than it did <laughs> in the box. Like, how does that fit in there? Because we, we kind of talked about this uh, on the stream months ago. Yeah. I said that I wanted... One of these. This is a mug to hold a drink, obviously. But, oh, you know what? <laughs> you can't just pour anything in there. You have to put a can You're in there. You're supposed to be able to hold a can in there. Yeah. I know, but if you were to just try and put stuff in there, 
It's going to come out here because right there's there. a hole in the yeah. bottom. <laughs> that would be... That's... <laughs> No, God, and then you could just like drink it like this, and yeah. that would be strange and God, wonderful too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. So <laughs> like here, good. here's the deal. We take this. Here's our little dive. Ho -ho! Hey. Hold it up. Can you hold it up so we can see? All right. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, hard with it again. He's gonna do it again. How's this? Okay. How's this? Here we go. Wow. That's great fun. We should do try a can of something in it to see how that. I will be happy to do that. Okay, so I'm a little further back. I was a little close. Thaddeus, Let's see could if you this grab from the here. can of Coke? Okay, here we go. We're going to put this in here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Very cool. Very cool. This is super handy for a couple of things. Well, besides me being the heavy drinker that I am. Yeah. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right. Yay. Well, okay. clearly we're not going to be able to hide can lids anymore, so I guess can lids mm -hmm. are a thing. Oh, anyway, it's, it's, it's just a. Thank you. That works damn good. I'm Yay. happy with that. So that is perfect. That's oh, exactly so... what I wanted. Yay! When we're rolling one die, it is perfect, and it gives me a real quick, easy way to see it. And it's right here. When we're rolling more die, then we're still going to keep our trays around because when we're doing like six d six or whatever, we'll use the big trays for them. Is it um is it plastic, Gabe? Is it 3D printed? It's, That's why it's, it's so light. It's 3D printed or close to that. Mm -hmm. I think it's 3D printed. Yep. I don't think it's cast. Yeah, I'll tell you right now it's 3D printed. If you look the inside, you can see the lines. But the exterior is is beautifully done. Mm -hmm. Like they've done a beautiful treatment on it. So there we go. I'm happy with that. And the thing is for me, the design. I have looked at lots of them and I didn't like the designs of them as much. I love the design of this one. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. That's good because I can just pick it up like that, do that, and I can read it right now, right away. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my father's. I'm happy you like it. Yay. We are both happy you like it. Yeah, sure. that is wonderful. Okay. Yeah, after that battle, I think we were hurting a bit, right? You are hurting. Yes. Uh, hurting quite you're not. I, I know my squishy lizard friend. No. Is... You're not. I'm okay. But, okay, but our... I, I think you're in rough shape. You guys are. I'm in... 11. I think he was nine. Squishy wizard was down in. Yeah, uh, that's nine. kind of yeah. one of our first. If we have a look at. Uh, priorities. We have a look at him here. I'm going to fix my little screen so that you can actually. Raven has got eight hit points. Dang it. Wow. He's in rough shape, man. So, uh, you guys uh, finished actually fighting uh, the Duragar, Dwergar ambush. The Dwergar ambush. You killed three of them. The nasty hobbits. Is... <laughs> nasty. Nasty dwarves. Is... Nasty, nasty dwarves. Nasty. They sneaks up on us. They does. And uh, uh, you've got three here who are dead. You're just out of combat. The other three escaped. Two of them very grievously wounded, it appeared. And Raven jumps up and says, Search the bodies! <laughs> what do you all want to do? Well, I want to not die. Thank I'm going to go round table, and then we'll just do clockwise round table. Josephine, what do you think you want to do next? I'm asking for any heal I, uh, out of any of my comrades here. Uh, I'm Vinia? looking forward to being able to do my D10 for heal. Okay, well, so are you casting a heal right now, or are you doing something else? Yeah, I think before we even check bodies or do anything like that else, we should be doing healing. Okay. So you okay. definitely need to focus it around uh, Joe and. Uh, do you have Do you have a slot for an AOE really? heal? You want to do an AOE heal on everybody? Yeah, I can easily do that. So, I am doing so. Everyone gather around. So it's a 30, uh, it's like a 30 foot radius or whatever. So yeah. you won't have a problem with it. Everybody's within that range. Okay. Please help me find the D10 in there. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah, she gets to uh, do a full D10 for her heals now. All right. While we're doing that, uh, Percy, what do you want to do while that's happening? Um, well, uh, while that's happening, I am, um, I'm going to bind wounds on, uh, on, 
Raven? Josephine and Raven. So, because uh, I have some bandages, so I should take those out of my inventory and bind those wounds. So when you do bandages, you can do a bandage. You can you can cast as many heals as you can that you want to spend the spell slots for. But when it comes to bandages, you can only use, I'm going to say, one bandage every four hours for healing. All right. Okay. Question for you. One bandage per person for every four yeah. hours. So if somebody else also has bandages, they can also do a bandage. At if you receive a bandage, you cannot receive another bandage. On the same wound. <laughs> well, you can, but it's not going to do any good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what it will if you not yield any more wounds? healing points for four hours. But if, but if they have more than one wound, can another bandage I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we're just going to group all wounds together because going down their abbot hole would be insane. So we're okay. just going to do one heal and uh, one bandage. Uh, as many heals as you want, but one bandage every four hours can be applied to your body. Seven! Seven. Woo! All right, so everybody give yourself seven points of healing. I will take care of Raven. Awesome. Yep. And I will give him Thank you, Lavinia. seven points of You're healing. Awesome. He'll be happy to have that. Pull him back from death's door. Uh, it, it, how, many, uh, how many hit points does it heal for bandage? Bandages, uh, a 1d8. And I'm, you know what, uh, with bandages, I think I, I agree because you have to gather them, you have to make them. It's a flat eight points. Yeah. Okay. I think so. You only get to do it. Heals, you got to roll for it, but you can do as many heals as you want because you have to spend spell slots. So that's right. that's a, a energy resource. Okay, like so a, I did one on you and one on Raven. Whereas bandages, you've got to gather them, you've got to find them, you've got to spend them. I'm going to make them a flat eight. Yeah. Okay, and, and things the have thing more is complicated not as good. since you added the extra layer. So he yeah, gets that, an eight, and I get an eight. Yep, eight yeah. to an eight. I'll give Raven Thank his you. his next eight. So now you guys have twenty six. Yeah, so I'm know almost when, up to halfway. Remind me when uh, in four, four hours. hours and, and oh, oh I think if I can add eight, some okay. of my healing points onto me too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For everyone, did everyone get their eight points or yeah. seven points? Uh, well, I didn't need it. Does so. anybody? So, does anybody else need healing? Uh, I well, probably Raven's do. still needs. Uh, how are you doing, by the way? Raven and I do, but well, I'm, a, I'm at 38. And yeah. we've exhausted the band so, so, for, yeah. this four, for hours. four hours. Mm -hmm. Who's this did I get? moving across the, I did. the screen right okay. now? Yeah. Just making sure. Can you walk? <laughs> That's wicked. So as Lavinia finishes her heal. You see one of the Dwergar roll over and slowly begin to crawl away. One of the mm. three Dwergar. One of the ones we thought we killed? I yes. say we we nab him and um, I crush want, him. I, I'm just hankering to try something. Okay. I would like to cast light on him. You'd like to cast light on him? I would. Uh, does it cost you a spell slot or is it a cantrip? Uh, my light is a cantrip. That particular one is a cantrip. Okay, so you immediately react. Lavinia turns around, sees him crawling away, and decides to cast light on him. Yeah. Cause she he's... casts light on him, and all of a sudden, you hear him go, Aah! and he rolls over. He stops moving because he's blinded. He can't see. Okay. Now so... he starts moving at an even slower rate away from you, but he can't see where he's going. I want to. Do we have any pushers for you? I want to stop him from moving by putting my foot in the middle of his back and ask him. Yeah, you are right there. Yes. And ask him, where do you think you're going? We I'm have gonna, some I'm questions. Gonna, I'm going to move the map so it's better for camera. And then you guys can reposition a little bit. Can I just got to pull the it down. Overhead camera because we were. Oh. Uh, it is. Map. Yep, that's it. We are. We're there. But the problem is, go back to triple for a sec, Rob. That way we can talk and get the camera at the same time. Okay. What I'm going to try and do is center our action with this triple screen so that we can see us talking, but we can also see what we're referring to on the map. It's a really good mm -hmm. arrangement for us for a screen for everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're going to try really and And it's really neat. Yeah. So uh, Percy runs up. 
and puts his foot on his back and stops him. And you just hear him groaning. You see, because obviously if he wasn't dead and you cast a heal, he's, uh, he's not an undead. He's a living flesh and blood being. You healed him for eight points. Yeah. So be it. So, um, but now he can't see where he's going. So, and and if it's still my turn, uh, I say we want to ask you some questions. Yeah. We'll we'll drag this back a little bit so okay. that you guys yep. are a little bit in range. Oh, okay. He wouldn't have been able to make that, but I can only move him five feet at a time. There. Okay. So you're right there, Mr. Dwergar. Hey, where's our? Do we have any dwarf minis to put there? <laughs> Grab one of these dwarfs and make him prone <laughs> for him. And... There we go. Yeah, the one that looks like wicked. Right. So did the other ones were they dead or were they pretending? You have not completed they look like they're still laying there, they haven't moved. You don't know unless you fully examine their bodies. Uh Percy has now got this one captured. Thaddeus, what do you wish to do? Um, there's one right beside me. I'm gonna um check if he's dead and then look for look through his pockets. Okay, roll to check if he's dead. Investigation. Your difficulty check is you got to make better than two. Because you're a medical man. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, and FG. <laughs> that is that the is, that They is are legendary. Extra <laughs> special. Extra special. He's the Daddy. most unlucky gambler in this game that ever existed. It's amazing. It's not just in this enough. game. <laughs> you have no kind of luck at Any all. game I have ever done <laughs> in my life. I, I'm I'm not lucky at things like, like poker and card games either, so I just do not play them. They just mm, make me mad, mm. right? Okay, so you examine him, and uh, lo and behold, which is French for high and behind, when you double-click his body, it should... When you double-click his body, it should open, and you should be able to see... The inventory, he should be lootable. Ooh. Wait. Fancy. Please excuse me while I go and get the other glass as well. So, I can... so here is our little uh, Dwergar. In this case, he was apparently the Dwergar slave master. He's are so you able cute. to. He are looks you... like a monkey. <laughs> are you able to uh, do that on your own screen? Double click the. The him and get him to open up and look at his inventory. Ah, did it work? It did. See, because of course, you know, GM, I have all the powers. I want to make sure you guys are able to look at this stuff. Anybody should be able to double click him to look if they want to look at his inventory. Okay, I uh, oh, want to take a look list. at the slave list. Small chainmail sl <laughs> slave list. You should be able to uh, double click oh. it. I've just opened the slave list. You have just opened the slave list. And you can actually read this slave list right here. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a list of slaves on this person. Slaves for transport. <laughs> so the that young would, fisherman is funny. That would indicate that they were trying to chase us down to capture us as slaves. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not a good choice. Not a good choice. Don't forget to feed them in the house. So for the folks at home who may not be able to read this, it says on the top, slaves for transport. His spelling oh, is atrocious. Fisherman. Oh, you want to read it, Thaddeus? Why don't you read it? <laughs> no, it you I closed it? it again. Okay, I'll read it. Old fisherman, old might die. Big trader, big and strong, good money. Young fisherman, wimpy, crying <laughs> all the time. And then at the bottom, there's a note, don't forget to feed them and the hounds. Mm -hmm. So this is the note that you find on him. Besides that, you find some religious symbol, some coyote tobacco, and uh, a few little gems. Some slivers, a chip, and uh, one full gem. That's what you find on the Dwergar Slave Master. Okay. You will want to move this stuff. Yes, I will fast because if you move away from this guy we go somewhere else on another map mm -hmm. it, like it does it's just stuck on his body mm. literally on this map it's on his body on this map it does not exist anywhere else in the system weird it's the way this works and uh um you were gonna check uh, the one next to you 
Uh, so uh, Josephine's going to check what? one next to her. Or what? Was... Josephine, do you want to check one, or no, what that, are you doing? That, this one is this one is close to you, but uh, Raven's also there. So uh, didn't he just check it? Oh, uh, that's that oh, is. Yeah. That is check this one. So here's I'm Dwergar sure. Taskmaster. You oh, want to check, check him? Taskmaster. Double click him and see what happens mm -hmm. when you open him up. Okay. Gets down off the rock. <laughs> Half of my body bleeding out. We've got ooh, a map. So in the Dwergar Taskmaster thing, he has got a mall. Here, I'm going to switch it back to my adventure screen so people can see it at home. He's got a mall, a chain mail. He's got something that's a map fragment and a note. He's also got a religious symbol and he's got some gems. What do you yeah. want to open? Well, I, well, I've just opened the note. The note? Uh, sorry, sorry, the map. Um, that the doesn't map? look much different than the map that we have. So there is a map here. That and, might show where their gang is. And then there is a command from H. appears to be a crudely written note. And it is all written in... Um, uh, Dwarvish. Dwarvish. So you need a like a magnifying glass that can translate languages. Mm. I happen to have one of those. Sir, would you be able to look this over for me? I would be very happy to do that. Let me just. Uh... I believe if we now go to map, you will see that the map is now in the map thing, and you can zoom in on it and zoom out. Abandon, abandon mine. Shallow Creek Mine is what the name of this particular particular map is called. So when Thaddeus uses his magnifying glass and he uh, goes over it, he discovers here, I'm going to close this so that we can work this in the journal. He discovers quests, Dwergar Raiders. Uh, where is the actual... Is it actually in quests? It is in quests. All right. Okay, fine. Yeah. There, you guys can now see it. Slaves for Transport was the first one. As Thaddeus uh, uh, translates this, he's able to read it now. And this note says, If you can't come back with something what's good to sell to the Aesir, don't come back at all. And Pergerus says, if you don't bring back oil for the machine this time, he's going to make oil out of you. I'd believe a Mortlock if I was you. H. Hmm. hmm. She said, meaning every word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, what do you want to do next? Uh, well, what, what I'm going to do is bind the uh, hands of my captive so that I don't have to keep my hand foot on him. Um, if only you had a pair of manacles in your... In you know, your uh, if we had a pair of manacles, let's uh, check. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. I mean, you're only a bounty hunter. It's only your job. Yeah, I know. All right, so I'll go back to the bag holding and get those manacles. I assume I assume you've got a pair somewhere. Okay, um... Uh, but you you've got a pair also called the shadow manacles. Yeah, those you can't use on anybody but who they're targeted for. Right. Okay. Uh, and Lavinia, what do you want to do? Hmm. Okay. Do we have any other bodies that haven't been checked? No, you've got the two dead bodies and the one living one. Okay. All right, I actually want to do um, you know those two dead bodies that we think are dead? That you just had both of these guys examine? Yeah, both had them. Okay. Um, so we, you know they're dead because yeah. Josephine and Thaddeus just both checked. And you're looting them. Absolutely. I want to lay hands on um, Josephine and do one more round of healing with her. Okay. And 
Yeah, I do, because I'm right beside her. Can you touch both of us at the same time? Because we're standing, like, right next to each other. Or I can, can move. Okay, so which spell are you using? Um, heal. Okay, so why don't you just AoE everybody again? Because I'm going to get that damn dwarf. <laughs> Mr. Redfeather, would you mind joining the group here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that damn dwarf to get another point. <laughs> okay. Fine. So you move. Or, or, as soon yeah. as you move, it makes it a touch heal. So, well, you could, it gives you Actually, two actions. Actually, I could just ask Thaddeus to come around them as well, and I could do a group heal. You know, no. Thaddeus, Thaddeus was always there. It was just uh, going to drag the dwarf yeah, out of range of the Percy, heal. But Percy doesn't need the heal. So Percy, <laughs> oh, can, Percy, doesn't need Percy the heal. puts the manacles on the dwarf and takes him that way. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I, keep I wish to point out that, way. that I wish to point out that the one person who might have turned into a weird tiger during this encounter that half killed two of you didn't get didn't hardly a damage. scratch. <laughs> so there was no, I was all planning for it. You had no I was all ready for the weird counter thing to, or the weird tiger thing to happen. Yeah. And then Percy didn't even get hit. Nope. So, nope. okay. Yeah, uh, and Thaddeus had the second highest hit point. Like the two of them had higher hit points. Yeah. Than Let's just assume you've done that. You moved him out of the way. You healed everybody else. Roll your D10 for your heal. And then you guys, you, you two can just apply it to yeah, each other and I'll apply it to Raven. Thanks, Mama Sita. Oh. Yeah. And I need spell slot for this, by the way. No, because it's... Uh, it's your uh, other focus one? Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm eventually going to get you slots for those, too. Eight. Woo! Ooh, nice. All right, everybody gets another eight. How are you guys doing? By You're the way? using them all up. I'm up to 34 out of 53, feeling Looks like great. I'm like, like a two-thirds sort of healed. way. That's good. Nice. Good. So, I can't believe this dye actually stays in there even when I drink. That's really good. And uh, and I just want to say something to the rest of the group. Are we going to go to their camp and uh, free these slaves? Or what are we doing, guys? Uh, okay, so you found the note. You found a map. You found a slave list. Mm -hmm. What do you... Oh, 30 minutes is up. Okay, it's 8.04. You guys can discuss that over break. Right now, it is 8.04 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We are going to come back, and we're going to be here at 8.15. All right? I'm going to head to break I mean, right now. <laughs>